New Riff Single Barrel Rye. Got it as a gift. Had to do a review before I finished it. Here we go. Hey, it's Matt Bourbon Ventures 2020. Today's review is going to be on uh, New Riff Single Barrel Rye. This was a gift and I have neglected this saying for a long time. As you could tell, you can see all the way through. I only got a little bit left in there. Can't believe I've neglected doing a review on this because it's been sitting in the back. Sometimes you just need to go digging through the back of your uh, whiskey cabinet and you'll find some good bottles that you had neglected. But I did find one that something Thomas Moore, Thomas S. Moore, mm, had it back there, didn't really care much for it. But here we go. I'm gonna do a review on this baby and I'm gonna flap my gums in the meantime. Oh, that's a fat pour. I think I got two more out of this thing. Oh, so I go into, well, back up just a bit. I, you know, I, I, I get direct, I get messages from you guys. You guys comment on my uh, videos and I love it. And I always try and get back to you. And if I have it, I'm sorry, but I think I've, I've, I've gone back and mm. I've gone back, gotten with everybody. And if I haven't, not, if I haven't, sorry. So one of the guys, I can't uh, think of his name right offhand. I don't want to lay him out. Oh fuck, I'm gonna lay him out. Cause he, he, he commented. Let me look up my stuff here. While I'm doing that, since I have a channel, I have YouTube, uh, what's it fucking called? YouTube Studio. And that kind of gives me everything stats wise, analytical, comments. That's how I uh, respond to you guys. Bradley, you know, sent me a comment and he goes, hey, have you ever tried this? And it was, I guess, Fiddler, it's out of Georgia. He says, hey, if you're in California, uh, excuse me, Total Wine, Total Wine has it. But I shot down there today, couldn't find it, devastated. But there's more in Total Wine, Total Wine, but this is the one close by to where I live. Don't have it, but I'm gonna be looking for it. But you know, I'll kind of look things up. It's a kick-ass bottle, Fiddler, um, Georgia Hartwood, they make it ASW Georgia Hartwood, Hartwood, make a great bottle. So I'm looking for that thing and I'm gonna constantly look for that thing and if I see it anywhere else, I'm gonna pick it up. He says it's a little expensive. He says like between uh, 75, 85, 90 bucks. That's cool, I'll do it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm game, I'm gonna play. So with that being said, I get to review uh, analytical stuff. I get comments all the time. Just like that, I responded to them and I actually took a picture of it sent, you know, and made sure that I get the right bottle. This thing, New Riff, barrel, uh, single bottle rye, uh, company distillery, uh, New Riff, no age statement, mash bill, 95 rye, five malton barley. And this, it's 104.5 proof. Uh, let me see here. This one's 104.9, so it's a single barrel. And MSRP 70 bucks. Got it for, I think, a birthday, shit, two years ago. So barrels do change. Barrels taste a little different. And I almost pulled the trigger on a single barrel bourbon. But what was weird is the price on that, on a new riff, was like 50 bucks. So I wasn't sure. So if I, you know, in, inside a gut feeling, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna back off. Don't do an impulse buy. I'm just gonna, you know, if I, if I really want it, I'll go back and get it. So, with that being said, I chat with the people that send messages, I do whatever I can, and if I don't get back to you right away, you know, sorry, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. But I only got 161 followers. With that being said, in my YouTube studio, about 17.5 to 20% are my subscribers. Love you guys, you guys are, you know, stick with me thick and thin. About, you know, what's 82 to 80% 80 are just passing through. So, with that being said, those people that are passing through, hey, just hit subscribe. And YouTube, they do some shady shit. Usually when I get a new subscriber, they send me an email, hey, so-and-so subscribed you. Cool, thank you very much, I appreciate it. But sometimes I look, I'm like one, two, three, four, you know, subscribers, but no one, no emails saying, you know, to the channel, that so-and-so subscribe. Those are bots. So email's playing games, email. So YouTube is playing games. You know, I'm catching on. So, you know, just hear me out. I took a sip without even giving you the nose. 
but I do get that rye spice on it. The one thing good about this thing, it stands out with flavor. Just there, I get that rice spice and I get a little peppermint on there and that's what's great about it. And, and a little bit of fruit, I'm gonna say like cherry on there. Ah, oh, so good, I'll give you the nose in a sec. Back to what I was talking about. So, you two plays games, you know, and I'm sure they're doing a little bit of censoring. But with those 80% that are, you know, passing through, checking stuff out, hey, I wanna try a Buffalo Trace, Woo Buffalo Trace, they type in. And maybe my name pops up. All right, you look at that or Blanton's or whatever, because I'm just picking on, because everybody loves Buffalo Trace. I'm just picking on those people because they're probably millennials and they probably got the man bun that I'm gonna try and grow and a beard and they, they live in their mother's basement and they yell, mom, eat loaf. So I, I, I get it, I get it. But at the same time, I have had a few comments, one from some geek that plays video games that questioned me about inflation. All right, I'm a working man by trade. I dig ditches, that's my job. I don't dig really ditches, but I work for a living. I break my back, I break my neck. I do a lot of things that are labor intensive that the average citizen has no clue what I do and what I see. So with that being said, Obviously this guy tried to flex a little bit of muscle and I remember it distinctly that he was asking about the Redwood Empire pipe dream. And he goes, uh, tell me that you don't know inflation without telling me you don't know inflation. Yeah, a little fucking bitch move. I'm like, so I gave him the definition. He goes, no, I don't need the definition. I go, I, hey, bottom line, if you're passing through, that's fine. I'm telling you now, that guy was a little bitch. But, I, but being, part of the YouTube, not family, but uh, platform that I have to put this stuff on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oak light citrus. I'm getting clove and cinnamon, so good. All right, I'm going for another sip. I gave him the definition, but I, I kind of look at inflation like things cost me more money because my government's spending more money and prices price of things are going up because he's putting a squeeze on making America better, making America great, not based off agenda. And when I say the president, I'm saying his administration because ultimately whatever happens up there trickles down. We are wasting tons of money. Say or roll into, I'm gonna do that again. There's a reason why I like this because you get smacked with a little bit of that rye because it's a rye but you get a little bit of that peppermint and then some of that cherry, because this has got some roller coasters going here. Some caramel and maybe a hint of dill, but as it kind of sits back there, that peppermint turns to just mint, a little bit of that ginger, and the cherry kind of hangs out, and then it softens up with uh, honey. Yes, it's a single barrel. Each barrel's a little bit different. Am I that good? No, but if I throw you in a batch there, I would say that New Riff is very good at doing what they're doing, picking the proper, the right barrels based on flavor. I think this is probably, you know, I don't want to finish it, but I'm going to. I'm going to have to finish it, but I ain't going to finish it today because that's a big fat pour and I got a few more bottles to get rolling here. If you see New Riff out there, it's worth it, and, and, and I would go with the single barrels because yeah, it's, it, you're, you're kind of rolling the dice that you might get a good barrel, you might not get a, a bad barrel, but I bet you anything with New Riff, you will get a barrel, and even if it's not so good of a barrel, it's still gonna be good. The flavor volume on this, I'm gonna crank it up to nine. Um, when I finish this, and I will definitely go back out and get another um, New Riff bottle, whether it's a bourbon, whether it's a rye. You know, kind of whatever mood I'm in when I'm rocking, walking down that aisle. If you see this, the rye, it's good. You know, it's got that little label on the bottom. You'll see it, it'll say uh, rye or it'll say bourbon. Your choice. It's gonna be good. New Riff, they're great guys. They're great, uh, I can't say guys, but I, it, it, it's a great crew that makes these bottles. Like, I, you know, I'm gonna go back to what have you. So. Um, that was the guy that kind of whatever, and he, you know, anybody that kind of goes, hey, cheers or whatever, I think he's a tool. The next bottle, I'm gonna tell you another one 
tell you basically the movement that I'm going to take. They try to flex on me, that's fine. Like I said, I don't, I'm not an accountant. I'm not a math guy. I can do a little bit, but I know when I'm getting fucking ripped off based on policy making, the morons in an administration that back it, it needs to be called out. I'm just gonna do it. Um, I got nothing to lose. But this bottle here kicks ass. Anything new Riff makes, but I'd stick with uh, single barrels, rye, and the bourbons. That's where you're gonna get most of your flavors. Um, this thing, I, I give it a good because I haven't got another uh, new Riff yet. So when I finish this, I'm gonna get another one just to have in my collection so I can keep my, and have some range in there. That's me. So if you like this, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Later.